What's up guys, you missed me, it's your boy, back for another DS collection update here, um, yeah, figured I got about five games, so it's a good time to do this, um, no real order to these, uh, first thing I got here is something I found at GameStop, it's the, uh, first Rune Factory, this glare is obnoxious. Uh, this is the only Rune Factory game that I was actually lacking, and I was absolutely in no rush uh, to get this one because I've heard it is probably the weakest effort, and um, uh, yeah, not as polished as the uh, later games in the series, but still wanted it um, nonetheless, so happy uh, to have that. Really dig uh, the cover art. On the Rune Factory games on the DS, uh, specifically this one probably being probably being uh, my favorite. Um, next one I know absolutely nothing about. This was eighty nine cents at the old Game Slop, and that is Dungeon Explorer by Hudson Soft here. Um, this shit, what what did Dungeon Explorer come out on? Like the Turbo Graphics sixteen or something? I know there's been other entries in the series. I've never played one, ever. Um, don't know if it's anything I'm going to enjoy or not, but I figured for 89 cents I would, you know, take a take a gamble, big fucking spender, and uh, give it a shot. So, yeah, usually whenever I see that little B right there, though, I get a, I get a little trigger happy, especially if the cost is low. So there's that. Next, kind of a disappointment in my opinion, I got Bengayo here on the DS and thought this was going to be as awesome as the Dreamcast game and I don't really think it is. In fact, I think it's kind of um, a frustrating mess. The tutorial just goes on forever. Uh, the stages are neutered. Um, I don't know, I, it's not as tripped out and weird and just quirky as the Dreamcast game, and I just don't know how I feel about it yet. That said, I've only played it for about two two hours or so, and I was dead-ass tired, but my first impression is nothing like uh, my first impression of the Dreamcast uh, counterpart. It's a big brother, but um, it is a really cheap game. I think I got this ship from Amazon for about 10 bucks, maybe less, I can't even remember. So, yeah. Speaking of cheap games, this one I'm actually pretty excited about. It is Away Shuffle Dungeon, and I didn't really know much about this game, but I kept seeing it come up um, on lists, on forums and stuff about, um, you know, interesting DS games, and I was like, just took one look at this cover, and I was just immediately kind of turned off by it. Um, but like I said, I, it kept popping up on these lists and stuff that I would see about, you know, DS, you know, kind of underrated games or interesting games. So I did a little investigating, and this was actually developed by Mistwalker um, of Lost Odyssey and Last Story and Blue Dragon fame. And it has a soundtrack by, uh, the fuck is that guy's name? Nobu or whatever that did all the Final Fantasy games and stuff. So it has a pretty, um, impressive pedigree of, uh, contributors and developers. And that alone, um, kind of made me interested. So I looked up some gameplay and the gimmick in this game was just really, really bizarre. And I'm definitely excited to give this a shot. It looks pretty cool. Um, so excited to check this one out. And it's a really cheap game. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for this, but it is, you know, sealed brand new and it was under five bucks. Um, won't be keeping this sealed, obviously. I got this to play, like I do with, um, you know, 99% of my games. But, uh, yeah. One I will be keeping sealed because this is a double, at least at this present time, and that is Infinite Space. Video Games Plus had a restock on these, 
This is actually kind of interesting because, um, to my knowledge, Video Game Plus is a Canadian company, and uh, my other copy of this game is actually the. Let me see if I can find it. Where the fuck is it? Um, is actually the Canadian uh, American variant. So you can see on the back um, some French and stuff. But this one is just the uh, straight North American variant. So I thought that that was kind of interesting because I assumed I would be getting um, pretty much the same game considering it was from a Canadian company, but it turns out it is uh, not the one with the French on the back. So I thought that that was kind of cool. And um, yeah, like I said, Video Games Plus, they had a restock on this. Pretty sure they still have them. Um, and it's at retail, so, you know, same price it came out as new. Can't beat that, you know, people were charging ridiculous gobs of money for this game. But uh, I'm going to keep this sealed because I've already played and finished this game. And I just really wanted to have a nice copy. My other one was missing the manual. And I um, kind of think my brother might want that one, so that might be going to him anyway. But anyway, that's it for my DS uh, collection update. Uh, you guys, you know what to do. Have a blessed motherfucking day. I love you.